Good morning, this is my Shaman Oiga reading for Thursday and today I am finishing up reading for Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius and Pisces and this reading here is for Sagittarius. Welcome Sagittarius, I'm using six card decks. And the reading starts with the Wild Unknown Archetypes deck. Out for you came the card, the Flame. And the Flame is the fire, is the spark, and also the glimmer. And in Sanskrit, the word for fire is Agni. And the ancient yogis, they saw this flame at the center of the abdomen and they believed it to be responsible for our vitality. When the fire is lit or the flame is lit, then we are connected to our purpose and sense that life is a sacred gift. It is said that those who cannot see the sacred around them have let their inner flame go out. So think of this card as a call to reignite that fire within and to cup your hands gently around those things you have forgotten and protect the flame no matter how harshly the winds around you might blow. It could be an inner archetype that begs you to light its wick. It is likely that the poet, the mystic or the shaman would call to you with the language of the flame. So this archetype, this archetypal fire is at the beginning of all transformation, purification and also manifestation. Nearly every spiritual lineage honors the flame. And to enliven the connection with this archetypal energy, practice the candle gazing technique called Trataka. Notice how lighting a single candle in any space brings magic to the room and creates a sense of peace. Card number two is the Shamanen Oracle. Out came the Turtoise or the Turtle. And the Turtoise has a special place assigned in the indigenous societies, as do the Ravens and also the Coyotes. Such animals, they symbolize protection, self-will, frugality and also the ability to live in two worlds at the same time. At least this is especially true with regards to the tortoise who lives on land and also in water. In some Indian tribes the tortoise is seen as mystical being and is both the mother and the earth. Legend has it that all animals were created out of the tortoise. The tortoise is seen as a wise animal with a very long life and so a great life experience to share with others. In China, India and Mongolia, 
The tortoise is seen as the one who carries the whole universe on its back. Immortality is an attribute related to the tortoise as well. The hard shell protects against outside forces. So this card wants you to know that you are protected and you can deal with life's difficulties. With regards to relationships, you are loyal and true. You have wisdom and patience and a tortoise spirit gives you protection from outside attacks. The medicine aspect is to trust in yourself even in times when things might work against you and so the card is advising you not to give up. Delve deep inside and mobilize your strengths. You know best what needs to be done because you are like the wise tortoise with an old soul. Rely on the harmony between the body and the spirit. It worked for thousands of years and it will work for you in the here and the now. So always trust your own instincts and the resources that already lie within says this tortoise card find your own pace there is no need to hurry because you will reach your destiny when you go steady towards your goals the moon and stars tarot card that came out is the sun and the sun is about happiness achievement warmth fertility, security, and excellence. Two joyful children, they look out to watch the sunrise on the card as they dance playfully within the warmth and the positivity the sun brings. Standing on Venus, the planet of love, Mountains surround the children, protecting them from any judgment so they can feel secure with their actions. With its white silhouette just visible within the sun's rays, a full moon places them in celebration. The meaning of the card is positivity. The sun is a card of happiness and of support. It's asking you to appreciate the little things in life and to be grateful for what you have. Share this joyful wheel of energy with those around you. The card shows that you are doing excellently within work and within relationships. You deserve a reward for this positive energy that spoils out of you. Make time for happiness with yourself and those around you. The card also predicts the arrival of a baby or the start of a new relationship. The star message is enjoy life's blessings and the success that you have earned. You can now rest and be rewarded. See this moon magic affirmation. I am thankful for my blessings and my achievements. The Dungeons and the Dragons card that came out is the world and the world card is about endings coming to a place of completion and then internally in 
and externally enjoy your powers. And the special message is that you see someone weeping at the side of the road. They tell you that they are being forced to marry someone they do not want to marry. And yeah, that's the reason to weep. No, even cry. Who wants to marry someone they do not like, right? The next card is the... Mythic Goddess Tarot card. That one is the Ten of Pentacles. And the Ten of Pentacles is about financial security, love, and long-term success. And the meaning of the card is completion again. The Ten of Pentacles indicates wonderful positivity in love, in luck, and in happiness. Once you have material stability, achieving contentment becomes a lot easier for you. Joint finances and investment decisions, they are highlighted now. Happiness and security, they are yours. You have reached a point of completion and accomplishment in your journey. Successful career moves, canny financial investments and blissful home life are all indicated as are generous gifts. Making a commitment by moving in or by marrying are possibilities. This includes the uniting of two families. It is about coming together with others and counting your blessings, inheritance, some windfalls and property purchases can all happen now. And the last card is the Wisdom of the House of Night card. Out came High Priestess of Spirit. And the House of Night is ruled by the Goddess Nyx. And the Goddess Nyx says to you, I am Nyx, Goddess of Night. And you have chosen this symbol to help guide you on this journey to find an answer to your question. Consider that there is an invisible spirit within all living things. Know that all things, events and experiences are woven together like a magical web that can be seen only in the darkest night and not by human eyes. My child, everything that you need to know is part of the divine scheme of things. A meaningful coincidence, a blessed friendship, a lover and a significant experience, they are all orchestrated by me, Goddess Nix, to help you become the powerful being you were meant to become. No matter what is in front of you, something important is brewing. You will know the answer to the what soon enough, but I keep secret the why. You may step forward knowing that some things are meant to remain a mystery. That was your reading, Sagittarius. I hope you liked it. I do wish you a beautiful day today. Thanks for listening. Take care and goodbye.